Hello guys and girls and welcome back, it's your boy Big John and I'm here today to show you how I was able to make $800 with a simple trade. Yes, that's right guys and girls, this is so simple and I know you're going to love this. This is also one of the VIP signal trades, so whilst you're here, do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first and foremost, as always, if you have not joined my free Telegram group where I'm giving out weekly analysis on what gold could be doing or actual signal entries for me telling you to enter price action as you can see here this was a analysis i gave out from saturday and even with this saturday analysis i'm telling traders that you want to basically pay attention to these supply areas which are on a h4 and my reasoning for this is we had a daily break of structure which was bearish and we had a four hour break of structure which was also bearish we've got four hour supplies and a daily supply as well which i've drawn out for everybody also a fibonacci level so what actually happened is price action came exactly to this area and it did sell and I was telling traders to look for this with a five or 15 minute break of structure, which was bearish. So as we go over here, you can see straight away, there was a 15 minute break of structure here, right to that supply area on the four hour chart, which was amazing. It didn't even go much further. And we can see that this was a 4.97 R trade from this setup. This trade has actually gone further now, and it is currently running at 18.24 RR, which is absolutely amazing. You could have easily pass the prop firm challenge with this trade idea, or you could have easily have made some type of percent on your prop firm account or your live account okay so now we're going to go into the signal room and this is just showing you exactly where i place my day trade signals for vip members and we can see straight away over here i told every single person to look for a possible trade setup on nzd usd this is on the four hour chart and this is using neo the indicator and this is how perfect and easy i actually made this signal trade idea for you now this is my swing trade vip group so there are actually two signal groups and you can see over here this is gbp JPY and I was telling traders to wait out for a reversal four hour break of structure with a sell trade. You could also have got back in on a four hour supply if price action went back there. You can see here I told traders to look for an entry here if we see the break of structure and then of course your stop loss would be above the last highs and now this is where we can see price action actually starting to play out and you can see a sell trade started to happen. This is me giving you an update of that trade and it literally went to my four hour supply level to a T. So you can even see you could have got in from the first breakout entry or if you missed that entry, price action did exactly what I suggested and we saw a pullback to the supply with a continuation of a sell today. So this trade has actually gone over 200 pips in profit. So this was a secondary signal I actually gave out this week as well. Okay, so with all that good stuff out of the way, let's get exactly into why I took this NZD USD sell. So the first thing I'm doing just very clear and simple is i'm paying attention to the higher time frame so right now we're on the monthly time frame and if we pay attention to the monthly time frame we can see that price action is in a downtrend so this is telling us from a higher time frame we should be looking for sales if i zoom in on the monthly time frame okay if i'm looking for sales where could price action reject from so we actually have a level of rejection here which is the last low on the monthly time frame now when i head down to the weekly time frame what can we see here we can easily see that price action is still in a downtrend trend so this is very clear this is very apparent for us so we can see price action on a monthly and on a weekly is in a downtrend we can also see here that price action has a weekly level of support right over here as well which is based on this level right here now when we go down to the daily time frame what do we see here we're seeing the exact same thing happening look we can see price action is in a downtrend so this is giving us an indication that we can see multiple time frames are actually in a downtrend so we could possibly see a continuation of a sell trend trade setup now on the four hour time frame we're seeing the exact same thing we can see price action is in a downtrend giving us even more confirmation that we're possibly going to go down some more for a trade setup so when I'm on the four hour time frame, just to keep it very simple for myself, I'm just going to pay attention to something here. We're going to look for where price action could break a level of support for a continuation of a sell trade. So the closest level of support we can see is right over here. And this is what we want to pay attention to. So I can see price action has bought off at this level before, telling me this is a level of support. And I can also see price action has bought off this level over here. Again, telling me this is a level of support. You can even see it over here as well. This is a level of support. So this is pure price action I'm showing you right now. Now, after that has happened, I'm just going to be looking at any other levels which are levels of support as well which price action might stop at so we can see there's another level of support right over here because price action has bought up a lot from this area before this was actually 
a 350 pip buy trade setup so this is quite a strong level of support now i've done all of that we're going to be looking for what my entry would actually be so i've been teaching you guys and girls a lot in here about entry criteria and i'm always telling you even if you're scalping the best thing to do is to go to the four hour time frame go to the four hour if you use the four hour chart and find out your directional bias then even if you go down to a lower time frame you can still catch an entry but i don't have to do all of that i like to stick to the four hour chart because it gives me a good confirmation on what can actually happen with price action so right over here we're just paying attention to this right here in the market there was a four hour bearish break of structure now this is all going to come into play with what helps us with neo and how i gave out the neo trade as well but now this is telling me that i should be looking for a continuation of the sell trade and again like i've told you here is my level of support which has now become a new resistance level for a continuation of a sell trade to go down even further and you can see here at four in the morning yep four in the morning uk time i told traders that i have entered nu for a sell trade setup now that that has occurred now we will be looking for our take profit levels so i've always taught you guys and girls on my channel that liquidity is always resting at swing highs and swing lows so we can see here on the four hour chart there is a swing low over towards this area here meaning that there's liquidity there we can also see over here that there's a swing low here again there is four hour liquidity there and we can also see down here as well there is a swing low so there's four hour liquidity there so this is why i had my take profit levels remember my stop loss would be above this box here because i'm expecting price action not to come back above this area because anything below is sell trade setups so this is how i was viewing this trade on trading view just to show you how you can even trade this with price action it might take a bit of getting used to but just to give you an idea about it okay so now we're on neo the indicator expert advisor and this is just giving me a better confluence of how i can actually take this trade sell setup so even without me having to do all of my trading view analysis i can see straight away on neo that the aging trend is bearish showing me that the higher time frame are in a bearish trend and it's been like that for the last 14 days that was probably after this reset that did happen here and price action started to sell again i can also see here that stop hunt one which is showing me four hour chart volatility so it's telling me price action has been bearish for quite a long time that is just giving me an extra indication that this trade could sell now that's not necessarily part of strategy two which you will see either in the description below or you'll actually see the link in the top right of the screen what my main confluence here is is what i love to see straight away we've had a change of character here this can also be a break of structure it would just say bos on neo and then we had our turn coat level i've been trying to show traders how important this is because when you see these turn coat levels it gives you a beautiful idea of where your entry and your stop loss could be now what neo also does is it automatically maps out the sell side and the buy side liquidity for you so you can see your take profit levels so after this break of structure our entry was just at the bottom of this box here our stop loss was just at the top of this box and you can see down here there is sell side liquidity so this is where my tp2 would have been and this is where my tp3 would have been of course my tp1 was up here and currently you can see that this trade did go towards this level here but this is why i only made 800 on this trade instead of my projected two thousand dollars the reason for this is again neo is automatically printing out levels of support or resistance for me and supply and demands so we can see straight away over here there is actually a level of demand here based on this movement that happened over here and this is why i decided to close the trade i could see previously from this level that price action actually bought up quite a lot so i did not want to risk it because it's nfp week and we might actually see a reversal back into this area possibly making me go back into break even or negative so i wanted to make some type of money this week especially after having a quiet week last week if it does want to continue again we will see price action go into the downside okay so guys and girls if you do want to get yourself the neo indicator expert advisor which also comes with vip access then all you have to do is send me a direct message on telegram or discord it is 100 gbp and that is for lifetime access and like what i've said before you're going to get all of these services in vip that you can see right now on the screen and you have no need to worry every single day or every single week in the market i'm literally going to be giving you an update on what i can see and at the same time as me showing you all that stuff that i can see i'm here to give you perfect customer service literally almost every single day and any single person in my group can account for that i hope you like this video guys and girls don't forget to hit the like button share subscribe and drop a comment as well it is your boy big john and i'm out peace starting from the bottom like drake got that john Mueller, but i learned my mistakes hiding up the ladder gotta watch out for the snakes if you want to be the boss then you have to delegate